What's going on you guys? It's your boy Slumpy and uh, I'm going to be showing you guys my, uh, my regional deck profile. Uh, I ended up losing to the guy that got first place, shout out to Rodrigo, and then I lost to the guy that got third place, shout out to JR. Uh, and then I dropped right after. Uh, I lost to JR around seven, so I needed to win uh, two more in order to get top eight. So right after, like, I, round eight, I just dropped and then that was it. Um, so I kind of just bubbled in the end. Um, but it felt good losing to the guy that got first and third. Um, and I thought my deck was actually pretty good for it being like super last minute. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an update deck profile uh, on my regional list. So let's go ahead and get to it. So I played uh, two Lady Debug. I feel like this is really good. Um, at regionals, you kind of just have to get greedy. And like this got ghost over a lot. But like I always had like a follow-up play when I did that. Did you ever miss the third one? No. Well, I think two is fine because if you play if you play three, you're gonna see this in twos, and it's just gonna be a brick. Uh, I played three gazelle, uh, three foxy, two spinny. I feel like this was perfect ratio. I never missed a third spinny at all. Three foxies comes up because you need to get rid of floodgates. Um, this is also like one of your nine or one of your eleven engine starters in the deck. Uh, for the one ofs, I played all the salmon grades that were really good, uh, and every single one was actually really good this whole weekend. They all had good utility. Uh, I played the, the one Floxer, one Falco, one Fowl, and one Jack. I actually feel like all these are really good, uh, especially when you're going to regionals. Uh, this being able to just pop a back row for free is insane. Um, and this being an engine started to make like Dweller or Baguska in the mirror match. Uh, first turn is insane. Did you ever miss the second Fowl? Or did you ever want to play more than one Fowl? No, I feel like one is fine. Like, you only really need to play like one of these. You can play two of this. Um, but if you're playing two of this, you need to play like Buffer Low and stuff, which yeah, I didn't play. For sure. Why not? It just wasn't that good. I didn't like Buffer Low. Uh, and then I played three Circle, one Sanctuary, one Will, one Fusion of Fire, one Roar, one Rage. Uh, the main deck of one of was really good because in the mirror match, uh, this is actually how I won one of my mirror matches. Uh, he had that complete board control. And then he like, he summoned Phantasmae, drew two. Um, and I used the effect to bounce on his monsters, he was Phantasmate, discarding the Gazelle. Um, then he drew into Bell, and I had, uh, he, I had, uh, Sunlight Wolf, and I activated Jack and Grave, he belled it. Um, and then I just slammed Fusion of Fire, and then got rid of his two dudes, all he had was Phantasmal, so I just attacked over it, and it came back. It's pretty insane. Yeah, we eat those. <laughs> <laughs> For the hand traps, so this is, uh, all the solid cards. Uh, for the hand traps, I played three Phantasmals. Shout out to uh, Kevin and Teresa for letting me borrow these super last second. Um, I wasn't really? last second. I, I, I like I like wasn't gonna play this at all. Um, I was gonna borrow them, and then like a bunch of people bailed on me, and then some people wanted them, and then um, also shout out to Jordan Anchor because he was originally gonna let me borrow these, um, and then Anthony needed to borrow them, so then I just asked Kevin and Teresa, and they hooked me up. Uh, I played two Ghost Bells. This is actually the most broken hand trap this whole weekend. Hey. For sure. I think this card's really good right now. It's like defensive and offensive, and I think this card's like super good this format. Um, especially with all the rogues and stuff, like it just comes up. Uh, two Valor, two Ogre, and three Ash. Um, and three Impermanence as well. Holy shit. So <laughs> I played all these hand traps. Um, I just felt like my deck had a bunch of one card extenders, like for example, like three circle, um, three foxies, uh, the gazelle and the lady debug that like my deck was already consistent enough. Um, and playing all these hand traps, like this is literally just like upstart goblin. Uh, in the future, I actually kind of want to take these out and play a third shared ride, maybe third desires and probably fit in like a third ghost spell or maybe something else. Um, I was also contemplating on playing strikes cause strike does come up against rogue. Like for example, cyber dragon, which is what I lost to. And like, you can't really beat that matchup if you're not playing strikes. And like, even then they probably draw like twin twisters and stuff. So uh, how did you feel about crows? Uh, I think crow is trash right now. I don't really like that. I actually don't even like call by grave that much. It's good. Don't get me wrong. But like if you're playing the mirror match, you're just shutting your yourself like up too. Oh, yeah, for sure. So it just doesn't do anything in the mirror match. Uh, for the, I guess I'll, I'll do the spice at the end. Uh, mm. Play two desires, two shared ride, and one imperial order. Uh, I drew this like three times, and like every time I do it, I just won. Like against striker, like there was one match where I just like set five instead of ash, and then it couldn't do anything, and then like. 
I just flipped and pre-ordered. They're like, well, I guess pass. And I was like, cool, top deck bill. Make XYZ. Do you have a response? Cool, I win. Uh, so that was pretty good. And then against another striker player, I made uh, I had a, I had a pure order, Dweller, XYZ, and Sunlight Wolf. And I had like Phantasmal, Valor, and Ogre in hand. Like he was just not a win that game. And the best card of my main deck. Um, which actually just won me so many games is uh, three Herald of the Abyss. Whoa, 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 whoa. can you so, explain what this card does? So, so, on it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this card says you pay fifteen hundred life points and you declare one monster uh, type and attribute, and then your opponent sends uh, one card from their field with that type and attribute, and then they can activate cards or effects with that uh, same monster's name for the rest of the turn. Mm -hmm. So against Scratch Striker, it affects the player, so they can't activate Ray, and then you just kill them. Um, and it's just like one card out, so like Vanity's Ruler and like Vanity's Fiend, Majesty's Fiend. Like, it's just one card out, so it's like really insane. Like, this just helps you kill Sky Striker. Uh, for the extra deck, pretty standard. Um, I think this is the best extra deck you should be playing. You can fit Tornado Dragon in and cut the Phoenix, but I, I don't think it's necessary. Um, so I played uh, three Bane Links, three Sunlight Wolf, two Heat Leo. Uh, one Ross Shalio and one Violet Chimera. I felt like this was perfect. Um, I played one Baguska, one Dweller, um, one Hita, one uh, Borlode, and then the Phoenix. So you can actually cut the Phoenix and play a uh, Tornado Dragon because it's more, um, you can do it on your opponent's turn too. Um, but Phoenix does let you draw cards, so like it's there to like, and like when you really need the card advantage, but I don't think you really need it for the side deck. So my side was actually kind of whack, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, my main deck was what really got me there. Um, I forgot to side a bunch of cards, so I just kind of went with my gut and like what I thought I was going to play against this regional. Um, and it, it pretty much worked out, except for like the Cyber Dragon matchup. And then when I played against Rodrigo, I kind of misplayed and uh, forgot to activate Fantasia when it was in my hands. I misplayed, but uh, you know. Uh, so I played uh, three Lancia, played two Gamiso. Uh This is for all the combo decks. Gamiso was for the Sky Striker matchup, mm -hmm. and for when you play against like Thunder, because you really only need to out one card. Uh, so this is actually the best part about my side deck, I think, and it came up a lot again. Uh, the second Jack Jaguar, the Paro, and the Mole. So Mole lets you grind against certain decks um, when you're playing against like Sky Striker. Or like even when you're playing against like uh, like Necros, if they Megazaborg you, you're able to like shuffle everything back so you don't die. Uh, Paro uh, helps like for like attack blocking and like just getting life points is really important sometimes. Uh, and then j the second Jack Jaguar because everybody's playing Shark Cannon and DD Crow, so you just play the second one and they're kind of just bad. Uh, I played two called by the Grave. Uh, the mirror package this is like if you're not playing this you're bad like you should always be playing this for the mirror match like these are just win buttons in the mirror match like why would you not want to play these uh i don't really like call by grave already so i only played two uh it's only really good against thunder and against striker like i never said this in the mirror match like i think if you say this in the mirror match it's really bad in my opinion um and then i played one cosmic one twin oh, so cosmic was actually really good this weekend because i banished a lot of area zeros and uh, Twin Sisters was just like there. Uh, I kind of wish I had just actually just cut these for like two more twins. Like I don't think this card's actually that good unless again unless you play against like Thunder or, or Striker. But like you already have like so many other cards. Like this card does nothing against Striker because you're already playing Triple Herald of the Abyss. So I mean like I probably just cut these two for more twins. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the deck. Um, Any shoutouts? Shout uh, shoutouts to, of course, to Genesis, my team. Uh, shout out to everybody on the team. Uh, be on the lookout for a new uh, intro video. We're going to be introducing a bunch of new uh, teammates, a bunch of new people to Genesis. Um, huge shout out to Imperium. You already know the best sponsor. Uh, shout outs to, uh, for Javier. Big shout out to Javier. Um, He's actually the guy that has actually been like making me kind of stay back in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I've been wanting to quit for the past like month or two now. Um, and he's pretty much the main reason why I'm still playing this game. Like he's always really supportive. He helps me out with whatever I need. Um, if I'm ever like in a tough situation, he always like helps me out with it. Um, I know he's always busy, so I really appreciate that. Uh, shout out to everybody that's here at my apartment, Kevin, Teresa, Peter. Uh, shout out to all the homies, mm. shout out to uh, Manav, Tristan, uh, huge shout out to Hamby, um, shout out to 
everybody that's on Genesis. Um, again, you guys will be seeing that. And shout out to Brittany for uh, going to Germany and leaving me here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's, it's my homegirl. I'm just joking. <laughs> you bitch. No, <laughs> Uh, shout out to the Friends Day Wednesday group, which is uh, Collins, Ariana, and uh, Jonah. Uh, shout out to Makai. Shout out to Jared. He's probably sleeping. I'm probably being a little bit of an asshole, but I love you, bro. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for mo so much for watching the deck profiles. Uh, if you guys enjoy it, give it a like. There's going to be videos probably like up there and probably up there. And <laughs> Somewhere down there, somewhere down there, and the best video is gonna be right there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Hey, give me some more. All right, guys. Yeah. You're so, so good. Yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it again, and this is Sloppy Sloppin' Out. Peace out, guys.